so what happened is that you had the power supply you had the meter you connected it to your uh, magnav unit you connected it to the power supply to whatever uh, load you wanted you got one third off on this side now if you put a small load here another load here and you create enough in time what you call the plasma condition and take one of the appliances which you have here or single appliance you especially put in that point and connect it to a battery or to AC inverter now you can supply the whole house directly from this unit and because it doesn't go on the main line your total power supply consumption is zero on your meter so the system becomes self-sufficient I repeat that you understand what you got to do to achieve zero power this is your meter from the house you have a point to your magnav unit you connected your magnav units to some sort of appliances this appliance here you can feed from it not go through it but connect to it to a battery or you can go to an AC inverter we we'll show you how to do the AC inverter Alex can tell you all you need to do is to connect one line to the earth side of the wire we we'll show you how to do this later on and then anything you take from here which can be literally connected in the back of here is totally free in the house so you bring your magnav unit immediately before to encourage the plasma flow you put your load on this end and you connect all the attachments to it but this needs time this needs another few weeks that you can nano coat the whole structure don't forget Alex in this vision because he's now already nearly six months eight months using the system so in the coming time we'll give you a unit we advise you or you can build it as you do everything yourselves that you create a new power generator from a system on the back of the unit which gives you the free energy and is more or less wireless um, Mr. Kish, I think, is there a microphone uh, issue there that might be adjusted? They're, they're losing your voice a bit there. Is it better sure. now? Oh, yes. Much better. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have a problem with some idiots in the background, as I call them. They think they're very clever, but we see things in the background. So, <clears throat> uh, so the system ill and will become 100% powerful, uh, power-free. Because here you convert immediately back into a system of a plasma. If you remember when we showed in the ambassador meeting and in the teachings in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, a couple of weeks ago in the center, we put 110 and 220, the drill and the heater next to each other from the same source. You just need to be patient. The system is absolutely and become more or less free power magnet system. But you have to allow the environment to build up. And with a simple single system, it takes time. We saw the lady who we showed first. She says she's running her uh, studio free from any power to be taken from outside. In time, the environment changes, the appliances and the system will go. You can, in time, deplug or literally disconnect from the main and use the same plugs as you have in the house, but they all be free energy. With the way which the plasma, once it's set off and it created, you can disconnect from this in time. Because the system will start feeding itself, absorbing energy from its environment. Uh, this this is just needs time for the system to set in. So the next step, once you got your systems in time, 
is to keep on checking if, for example, your washing machine or one of the appliances near to the system is become plasmatic, and then use it to drain energy into a power supply or inverter of what we show you. And then if you create a plasma batteries, you don't even need that, then the supply becomes self consumption you disconnect from the main in time to come. It's okay.